हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो व्हाट आर द ऑप्शंस वी हैव इन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट फाइल्स क्रिएटेड इन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो हाउ टू क्रिएट एंड रन योर एवीडी ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट द टूर ऑफ एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो गाइस हियर आई हैव स्टार्टेड माय लेटेस्ट एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो एंड यू कैन सी वी हैव डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट ऑप्शन सो आई एम जस्ट सेलेक्टिंग न्यू प्रोजेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर क्रिएटिंग न्यू प्रोजेक्ट नाउ अंडर दिस वी हैव अगेन डिफरेंट ऑप्शन डिपेंडिंग ऑन टाइप ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट विच यू want to create you can select i'm taking empty views activity because i want to create either java or kotlin project so just select it and guys then you need to provide certain details related to your project for example you need to provide your project name so whatever project name you want to give you can give and then guys here is the package name this is the default package name if you wish to change you can change this and then guys now the next we have the location here and i'm giving the location wherever i want to save my project that location i'm providing so you want to save in default location you can continue with that there is no problem now it shows me language option so if you want to create project in kotlin select kotlin or else select java and here is the minimum sdk so api version it's showing so i'm just keeping that default and here build configuration also i'm keeping default and guys i'm clicking on this finish button and you can see here it has started creating my project and once you create project it shows windows firewall defender because in my pc windows firewall is on so it is doing what it is just uh, not allowing this project so i'm just excluding this project from windows firewall so you may not get this option if on your pc windows firewall is not on so if it is on just allow it and if it ask permission click on yes button guys and you can see it takes a uh, time for creating project because indexing and everything it does so guys uh, my project creation is done uh, so guys what you do uh, so guys once uh, so guys after creating project you just wait for a few minutes so that it completes all the process otherwise your project will not be created properly so here you can see my project creation is done now i can see my files at left side so guys i will be explaining you each and everything so let's go to the menus option so here we have file menu edit menu several menus we have so in file menu you have option related to opening closing a new project and then if you want to change the preferences something like color and all that so all that thing you can do through this file menu okay so you can explore this menus guys now i'm taking you to this important part that is project explorer or directory structure so here you can see we have app folder just expand it under that we have manifest kotlin java and resources okay so if i expand manifest file in that i have android manifest.xml which is very important file so guys sometime you create any project and you require to capture some photos using uh, camera of your phone or you want to allow internet access some sort of permission you want so in that case you need to write that lines over here so uh, android manifest.xml you can write permission line and here also uh, whatever is my main activity like uh, my main uh, screen so that line is also over here so um, basic detail of your android project will be here what icon you want like uh, whenever you install any app the icon for that app is also there okay so everyone uses google chrome so you know there is logo of google chrome youtube so similarly if you want to provide any logo you can provide over here here it's taking default one ic launcher okay so um, right now i'm not adding any permission so once we 
proceed with the tutorials or the video then I can show you now let me expand this Kotlin plus Java so here you can see uh, we have three folders so we will be working on the first folder and under this guys we have main activity so this main activity dot kt this is the file where you will be writing your actual logic like on click of button what should happen when you check mark something what should happen that logic you will be writing over here and so let me quickly explain you if you take option as java or language as java it creates main activity dot java now i have selected kotlin so it has created kotlin so first line is all about packages then we have import line and then here it has created one class class main activity colon app compact activity so that is the base class and after that guys we have a super keyword so it calls base class constructor and then guys set content so what it will do it will uh, set your activity underscore main xml as a ui file so in uh, android studio whenever you are creating project uh, one logic file is created that is with extension dot java or dot kt and another file activity underscore main dot xml is created which is nothing but your ui file so here i am taking you to activity underscore main.xml so guys here that is the line which it is specifying that my uh, ui file is activity underscore main and this file is there under this resources folder layout folder hence we are writing r dot layout dot activity underscore main so let me take you to this activity underscore main and here you can see this is the xml code which we are having this is ui part you can shift to design code or both design and code so here we have several options if i click on this design it shows me only design if i click on code it shows me only code if i click on design or code it shows me both design and code and here guys we have palette that means different uh, controls or widgets are available so we can drag and drop and use it okay and at the right side we have attribute box so whatever widget or component you will be taking on your activity so uh, the property will come in attributes and you can change like if you want to change font color foreground color background color everything is there over here the next thing i will be showing you as the code for this activity underscore main dot xml so you guys can see whatever hello world is there for that the code has been generated let me just drag and drop some component and show you the code generated for it so here guys you can see the code has been generated if you don't want to drag and drop the component even you can um, write code inside activity underscore main manually okay so so the basic thing is done guys so whenever you create project you have to go to activity main dot xml for ui and main activity dot kt or dot java for writing your logic i hope you understood that now next we will be going to resources folder and here guys i'm just expanding this resources folder you can see we have several folder drawable layout string color so many folders we are having even if you want to create menus so all that you have to put under resources folder so now what i'll do i'll just take you to this layout and you can see the activity underscore main dot xml file is there in this layout okay so if you want to add more activities or pages to your project so you can just go to this uh, java underscore kotlin under this uh, this uh, particular package and then right click and you can go to new option and you can select activity and you can add the activity so if you are creating any of the activity the corresponding layout for that is created under this layout for so the next option we have as a drawable so if you want to show any images or use any images in your project so you can have this uh, drawable option drag and drop or copy and paste your images under this and then you can use that right and then we have string and xml if you want to use any color and all that you need to provide over here so these are the files where you can provide your string value or color value if any color value you want to use 
blue so all that thing you can add over here by providing color tag okay so this is done guys now the last part is device manager so uh, device manager does what it helps you to create avd that is android virtual device if you were creating any project you want to run that project and you want to see output so since it is android application you required some android devices where you can see the output so for seeing the output we run some virtual devices so here uh, we can do that through avd uh, sorry we can do that through device manager you can create any virtual devices you can delete any virtual devices or if you want to pair your real mobile phone with your android studio that also you can do through this device manager so all that options we have over here i'm just taking you to this device manager and you can see guys i'm already having some avd created so whenever you install android studio and if avd is not there on your system it first creates avd if it is not created you can create later on also no problem with that and guys if you want to know how to connect your uh, mobile phone with android studio and see your output on actual devices you can certainly watch the videos available on my channel i've created videos like how to connect your mobile phone through usb through uh, wi-fi qr code or through wi-fi uh, some otp okay so all the videos are available also i will provide link in description box or you can click on i button to watch that video so here i am just starting my avd and guys so guys here is my avd you can start this avd or if you want to run this code you need to just click on the play button and you can run the code and if you want to add some other avd if you don't require this avd or you want to try on some different avd you can add that from here so that's done guys that's uh, so that's done guys so that was the tour to android studio i hope you have really understood that if you have any query guys you can put in comment box or you can ask me on my ig also i will reply there also but before that you follow me and guys if really my video has helped you don't forget to hit on like button and share my videos to your friend guys guys i'm there on different social media all my social media link is in description box you can join me or follow me and guys i have my website also cscornersunitarai.com you can uh, follow that website for the content related to various programming languages also i write blog on google blog or medium you can check out that so that's all guys i conclude my video the last point is that if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to bell icon to receive notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys